Hello again. Today I'm going to show you the stuff that is laying on this shelf, of course, besides the t-shirts we've already seen. So let's begin with top shelf and we have boxes of holding. This is boxes of holding set one. This is also set one, but in Italian. I'm missing Polish one. Those are crypts of concealment from Cthulhu. This is regular boxes of holding set 2. It's uh, the, the only difference between those, the set 1 and set 2 is uh, that set 2 has a box for dungeons. Here we have mid lockers from Munchkin Zombie. And let's see some palms. So here we have some Munchkin Shakespeare flower spear palms and spike, spears, spike spear palms. We have quite rare Munchkin Legends pawns. They are hard to get. We also have Munchkin Zombies pawns. And funnily enough, we don't have pawns, regular ones, uh, in pack. Because when I got them first, I just unpacked them because they were really cool. Here we have something that's not really Munchkin, but since uh, it's from Pathfinder and it says Munchkin, I thought that it would be good to collect. We have several loose ones, the translucent, the glow in the dark ones. We also have Munchkin metal level counter. It turns to different levels. Okay. And here we have some play mats. And as I already told you, those are items from Munchkin tournaments. This one is Munchkin Zombies uh, Release Gehirn. And uh, it, it was uh, a prize for winning uh, Munchkin zombies tournaments in uh, Germany when the Munchkin Zombies came out. And this is Munchkin Pathfinder Grenade, a Starfinder Grenade, which was the prize for winning a tournament when the Munchkin Starfinder came out in Germany. Here we have Munchkin Opposable Thumb Drive, Zombie Opposable Thumb Drive. It's because is if I recall it correctly, no, this one is a regular one, it's not zombie. And here we have Munchkin Slap Bracelet. This is a really cool gadget for a tournament because it gives you plus five combat strength while taking only one hand and you cannot lose it unless you die. And this one is also a really good tournament uh, gadget since it works just like the blue coin the, this one uh, it uh, works as uh, one of one of dozing but the blue coin has to be given away and zombies gehirne doesn't so it's quite better here we have a bunch of coasters take a look at them this one is still in pack because it's the newest one. Here is an official Black Monk one. It is officially Black Monk, but since Black Monk isn't SJ Games, uh, this doesn't count 100% for me. Here we have Munchkin Tavern from Munchkin Quest, Polish and English edition. Here we have the Munchkin Master's Guide player's handbook and monster manual and the monster manual is signed by John Kowalik and one of those is also signed by John Spike gets suckered is signed as well let me show you And of course, for some of you, I'll show you how the mat, play mat, looks like 
when it's out of the box. Okay, it's really hard one-handed and trying not to damage anything. Alright, so here we have John's signature with his duck. And this is how the playmat looks like. Of course, it's quite bendy because it was rolled up, but give it some time and it will straighten up. All right, let's clean it up later and continue watching. Those are kilometers. They are used during fights to count your combat and your, mo your monster's combat strength to see who wins easier because in some fights uh, you'll have lots and lots of things thrown and it's uh, easy to mess up your counting. So here is Munchkin Kilometer Guest Artist Edition. Here's a Cthulhu. Here's Steampunk, Zombie, another Shakespeare, but different one. Yeah, different one. Munchkin Apocalypse and regular Munchkin Fantasy. Here we have some more level counters, the rolly ones. So you move this this stuff around. Here we have my imaginary friend. Don't let him get away. We have imaginary frenemies, so friend of enemies. The elusive munchkin dice tray. You can see how it looks folded in here. And we have a bunch of comics. So here is Munchkin Troll Booth. Polish one, yeah? Nope, this, this one is English. Here we have Polish. Here we have some comics. It's Lampoond, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Lampoond. Here we have the ecology of Floating Nose. Here is a poster, if I remember correctly, from Munchkin Comics. Yep. And we have a bunch of comics. I'm missing some of the some of those, but I do have most of them. Here we have White Dwarf, which had Munchkin bookmark included, still in foil. We have a Munchkin Warhammer poster still in foil. And we have also Munchkin's Power Guide, Guide to Power Gaming in foil again. But this one's kind of cheated because the foil is zip back. And Munchkin Crusade 2014 Urkunde, the year I've been in Munchkin German Championship and managed to get to the semifinals. And I lost to Sebi, who then won the whole tournament. So here we have everything from this shelf. Let me clean this up and tell me what else do you want to see. See you again. Bye.